What's up my dudes? In this video I'm going to be making a ring out of Kevlar. So Kevlar, as I'm sure you already know, is used in bulletproof vests. I've got a plate here. Um, the way this would be used is it would be the front panel of a chest bulletproof vest. So if you don't know what Kevlar is, essentially it's kind of like fiberglass, but from my understanding it is a ceramic based thread that they use. And so it's an incredibly strong thread and they weave it together and then it comes out, the product they make, at least when they resin infuse it, turns out a lot like carbon fiber. So you can see in this footage here, it looks very similar to carbon fiber. It's just this white color instead of the black. But from my understanding and from what you'll see in the video, Kevlar is nothing like carbon fiber in the way that it, you work with it. It's really finicky, it's hard to work with, and it makes just an insane number of splinters. So my way to mitigate that was to do my best to make the shape of the ring and then to put a thin coating of super glue on that. And that's just to keep the slivers at bay. It's not a super good solution and it's not really a ring that I'd probably want to wear just because of the risk that there is in me just getting splinters every time I wear it. So it's just kind of more for fun to see if it's even possible to make one. And then we also want to test and see if the ring will be bulletproof. My guess is that it's probably just gonna explode, but we made a few rings and we're gonna do some testing with it. So the steps I need to make to turn this plate of Kevlar into a ring are actually pretty simple, but because of how tricky Kevlar is to work with, I had to be really careful and kind of baby it to make sure it turned out okay. So like a lot of my rings, I'm just using these two diamond plated hole saws and I'm cutting out two concentric holes and then that's gonna leave us with a ring blank. So you can see all the frayed edges that the blank has. And the reason for that is because Kevlar fibers are so strong that they're really hard to break. And so the resin that's encasing them will typically fail before they do. And so there's just splinters hanging out everywhere. So not really something you wanna put on your finger. And so I'm doing my best to sand those away, get rid of anything major. and then I'll put it in my lathe, try to do some shaping to it. And then like I was mentioning earlier, I'm gonna put a small coating of super glue over everything and that should keep the Kevlar from fraying and causing any more splinters. So now I've got the inside finished up. I use the Dremel to shape it, give it a nice comfort finish, all of that. And then you saw me apply that thin coating of super glue. And then I used a super glue accelerator to cure it pretty quickly. Now I'm taking it out of the lathe and then I'm mounting it on this expanding ring mandrel and now I'm going to take care of the outside of the ring. So you can see it's the same process. I'm just sanding it, trying to shape it a little bit, round it so it's 
somewhat comfortable to wear even if it is really splintery. And then I used this compressed air, and that was just to get rid of any of the dust that was on there, but I didn't want to get it wet. Um, experimenting earlier, I found that Kevlar is actually kind of absorbent, and so something like carbon fiber, I can actually get that wet and then just dry it off and it's totally good to go. But Kevlar, the water will actually absorb down into the fibers, and so I didn't experiment with this. Maybe it would have been fine after a day or so of just drying out, but to me it looked like every time I got it wet, it just ruined it. So my method of getting the dust out was just to hit it with this jet of compressed air, but it didn't work perfectly. So there are a couple little black spots on the ring, so that's just the explanation for that. So now I'm just finishing up that final super glue coating on the outside of the ring. And I actually think it looks really good. It's just kind of like a white, kind of clear carbon fiber. It actually has a really unique look. You hardly ever see a white ring. So I think it looks really interesting on the hand. It just kind of stands out. And of course, no Kevlar ring video would be complete without trying to shoot it and seeing how it holds up. So I'm gonna hand the video over to my dude, Lewis, and we're gonna see how this thing holds up to some gunfire. All right, what's up my dudes? I'm Lewis. I work behind the scenes with Patrick. He's out of town this weekend, so I'm gonna be the one testing the Kevlar. We've got this big Kevlar plate from the Waterjet channel. Be sure to check out their video. I'm gonna link it in the description. What we're gonna be shooting them with is we have two rifles. The first one is our 17 caliber. It's like a 22 caliber, but it's a little smaller, little faster bullet. Our second rifle is our 50 caliber, and this rifle is a lot more powerful, a lot more destructive, so let's get started. So those clips were from the 17 caliber, and as you can see, the ring's pretty much gone. These were the two biggest pieces we found. You can definitely tell the ring's far from bulletproof. We're not gonna be able to sell it as personal protection anytime soon. So now we're gonna use a 50 caliber muzzle loader. The 50 caliber muzzle loader did a little less damage than the 17 caliber, but this was honestly what I expected to happen. The second ring wasn't mounted as well against the backstop, which means it had less support. And the 50 caliber also shoots a heavier bullet at a lower muzzle velocity, which leaves it with less kinetic energy in the long run. All right, and now back to my dude, Patrick. Really, this whole ring was just kind of for fun. It looks really cool, I think. And I just wanted to see if it was possible. I've had this plate here. I actually got it from the water jet channel. And in fact, if you haven't seen their video, you can go check them out. I've got a link to their channel in the description. They've got a funny video where they shoot at it and as well as some bulletproof glass and things like that. Anyways guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Also, you should seriously consider subscribing to my channel. I post two videos every week and I do my best to make them entertaining for you guys to watch. So if you like this video, chances are you'll like my others. So you can just click that red subscribe button. All right, my dudes, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all on Saturday.